As a young boy, my next guest, Justin, had dreams of becoming a professional skateboarder. But at eight years old, he was diagnosed with a disease that slowly took away his sight. By his mid-20s, Justin was almost totally blind. But despite losing 90% of his vision, Justin is still pursuing his passion to skateboard. It felt good. The journey of losing my sight, it was like a roller coaster. I'd be at the park and not be able to do what I did the day before. I was very frustrated and I decided to give up skateboarding altogether. With skateboarding no longer in my life, I was depressed. It took me two years to transform back into the person I am today. In my everyday life, I fail at normal tasks. I'm always knocking stuff over. I needed to make my life easier. And now I have help. Hey, Orcam, smart reading. Fine total. Total due $77. The Orcam device has helped return my confidence back. Laundry detergent. It makes my life more normal. And now that I have skateboarding back, life is amazing. I'm never gonna give it up again. Well, joining me are Justin and Dr. Brian Walensky, an optometrist and ORCAM spokesperson. So good to see you again, doctor. Good to see you too. And thank you both for being here. Uh, Justin, when you were eight and told you were going to lose your sight, uh, what do you remember about that? I remember my dad taking it pretty rough, but um, it was I was so young that uh, it didn't really mean anything to me yet. It wasn't until later on in life where, you know, simple tasks like reading became a challenge. Right. We saw in the tape at one point you were forced to give up your passion of skateboarding, what was the turning point that got you back out there? Once I realized that um, I was kind of defining myself by my blindness, um, once, once I got past that hurdle of getting, you know, over being like calling myself blind, I was able to just go, go back to my passion and be me again. Yeah, so what did it mean to you when you got skateboarding back into your life? It became part of who you were again. Uh, it, it meant everything because every day I had skateboarding back in my life, I felt like me again before I lost my sight. You're going to have to tell me exactly how you do that. Yeah. How do you skateboard? Yeah, it's, it's all about the right tool for the job. So um, I started out using my cane. Um, then that evolved into also using audible markers, um, like sound devices to let me know where the edge of ramps are so I don't fall off the edge of the ramp. And then I'll even use rope to like guide me to exact obstacles for like precision. It's a lot easier said. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot easier said than done. We also saw on the tape how an amazing device is helping you change other aspects of your life. So tell me about that, Justin. The Orcam Mai has been improving my independence by letting me recognize my friends and family, to identifying products, to even reading any text. You show us how it works. Yeah, definitely. Let me show you with this magazine. Hey, Orcam, smart reading. Ready. Start from skateboards. The first skateboard started with wooden boxes, or boards, with roller skate wheels attached to the bottom. Oh, come on. I just... Yeah. Dr. Walensky, tell us more about this device. How the, This is just amazing to me. Dr. Phil, the OrCam My Eye is the world's most advanced wearable assistive technology for people of any age who are blind, visually impaired, or have reading challenges. You saw Justin use the latest OrCam technology. He simply said, hey, OrCam, and then gave a voice command and told it what to read. Right. And do you need Wi-Fi to use the device? Absolutely not. It's a self-contained device. Anyone can use it anywhere. Dr. Phil, to see Justin get back to his passion of skateboarding and add independence in his daily life, that's really what OrCam is all about. You know what a fan I am of this. It, it's it's mind-blowing what you guys have developed here. Do you have any special projects that you're working on? 
Right now, I'm just trying to introduce adaptive skateboarding to anybody with disabilities or challenges in their life. <clears throat> and then we're also working with USA Skateboarding to try to get skateboarding into the 2028 Paralympics. Now you're talking. That's. Uh, uh, now, uh, I've, I've been working with this for several years now, and I've seen how remarkable this device is and how it has changed lives. And if you or someone you know is interested in purchasing an OrCam MyEye, you can now receive a $500 discount. But this is a limited time offer that is only available to Dr. Phil viewers. And I'm really proud of that because I'm really proud of this. Just go to orcam.com for all the details. And again, this is a limited time offer, so don't delay. And like I say, I've been working with this for years. And so I've watched these folks use this and how much it empowers them in their lives. Uh, I want to thank all of my guests today. Justin, good luck no, thank you. Uh, with your 2028 Paralympics project. Keep us posted on that.